Damn, Gina! Episode 2, How I Treat Her During Veg. Soil, transplant, topping, LST, super cropping. And I'm going to open box the Mars Hydro TSL 2000 LED grow light. The potting soil you see, there's the receipt. 20 bucks for what you see. The scrog nets, the ties, and the two bags from a local hardware store of organic soil. Nothing special, I promise you guys. That is not where I spent my money. This is the Budget Grow Series. So, welcome back to my Budget Grow Series, and sorry for the delay in getting this episode out. Let's jump right into the transplant on Gina. So this is day 19, June 24th. She is in about a one and a half gallon pot. You can see she's got uh, roots right there. We're bound and ready to go. So we're transplanting her into a three gallon. So my next episode though, that's where you guys are gonna to wanna to tune in for the nutrients. Uh, that's where the money makers are for the growth explosion coming up. So got a few stones there. Put in the soil, keep it aerated a little bit, helps. Now where I did spend the money is gonna come up here in a little bit with that grow light, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are digging the content, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Snip, snip, time to top her. See those tiny leaves just above the fan leaves? I want to cut above those on that main stalk. Now I've heard you're not supposed to top an auto flower. So, I wanted to try it either way. So I did. I guess I didn't care. I topped her. She just got transplanted and I'm topping her at the same time. Anybody notice those lower fan leaves? A few spots on that one to the right. The very bottom ones are a little messed up. You guys wanna comment below, let me know what you think's going on with those lower leaves there. Those little shoots right there to either side of that topping, that's what's gonna shoot out and become my main two tops right there. Yo, but I ain't done. Look, the next day, the very next day, I took her outside, laid her over. See, there's the fresh top right there. Laid her over and started LST, low stress training. I wrapped the tie, hooked it around that top node just below where I topped her and pulled her over a little bit in the natural way she was leaning. And this progression goes over the next few days. By the way, I did supplement quite a bit with sun as my first light was a cheap uh, I think it was 50 bucks on Amazon, little blurple light. You're gonna see the purple pictures coming up again here in a minute. But I did supplement with sun. Look at those top sites coming in after just a few days. There we were back in the tent. That's a genetic mutation, by the way. Not really sure what that is. If you guys do, comment below as to what it is. But I continued continuously on LST just almost every day. I would check it, pull them down a little tighter if they needed to be, or make sure I tuck leaves out of the way and allow those shoots to grow as much as possible. This is kind of also right around the time I started to mess up a little bit, guys. There's some good shots of the LST and the topping. You can see how those main shoots took off. 
this is where I started to mess up a little bit. You see the other plants in there? I thought, eh, let me bring in some strawberries and this, that, and the other, and that was a very bad idea for a newbie. You could tell that's my first grow, and that's why. Made a dumbass mistake, and that's what brought in spider mites. You're gonna see those later. Again, stuff for the next episode, how I treat that. She's beautiful, look at that. We're on day 34 and we just kicked into flower. See how wide she looks from the side and tall, but she's just growing out. That's Tink, guys. She comes down and helps me out every now and then. She sits and watches and plays with my uh, hoodie strings while I prune and water and whatnot. Man, she's a pretty plant. Damn, Gina! Pretty. There we go. Crystal's starting to show. Now again, this is a Girl Scout Auto. Girl Scout Cookies. So that's my little blurp of light and my fan set up, but this is the day I got the uh, Mars Hydro. So let's open box the Mars Hydro 2000 LED grow light for this 2x4 tent. Really thick cardboard. It's got that wood, which I really like protecting the lights. Some badass stickers, come on. Bunch of accessories that come in there with it. You got a little timer, um, the ratchet hooks. Got a nice dimmer switch on it. Now I did have issues with this dimmer switch, so I got in touch with Mars Hydro and they sent me an entire new light unit box just like you see. And uh, I ended up just switching out the, just switching out the uh, dimmer and that's it. Great customer service by the way, they were very responsive and fast, so pretty happy with the light. Now because of that dimmer switch having issues, uh, she's been at 100% power until just literally a few days ago. So I got it switched out. But that's it man, that's the Mars Hydro 2000 for this 2x4 tent. There she is hanging up, much different light. Again, man, I, this is a Bread to Grow series, so that is where I spent my money. I can't replace the sun, so I want the best light I can possibly get. And uh, this is why. So that these plants grow, grow good, grow healthy. Yeah, I got two other plants going in the tent right now. We can talk about those later. Uh, they're still going. They're all three are in flower at this point. I'm doing some super cropping right here. I'm pinching these and I'm uh, bending them over because I want these main top sites that I have going around the edges to uh, widen out a little more and to slow down, allowing the branches just behind all those. You can see those just to the right of my fingers there. You want those shoots to grow and catch up. So that also leaves her a nice knuckle right there and that strengthens her for later down the road, which you guys will see later on. This is super crop and I'm not really breaking the branch. I'm just kind of breaking the membrane a little bit and uh, folding her over and bending her. And then I tell you what, man, tomorrow she is right back perked up. This girl just doesn't care what I've done to her. Topper, LST, transplant. She even gets hosed off at one point. Just doesn't care. Beautiful plant. Good genetics. She does this droop thing at night, and then in the evening she's all perked up. It's weird, or in the uh, morning she's all perked up. 
All right, so here we go, as promised. These are your spider mites. At this point, I, I had some, and it just when I saw this, I said, that's just too much. Yeah, by this progression here, it got too much, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Check out the nutrients in the next one, guys. Rosenberg out.